kitangu anifunge <laughs> rais ruto ametufunza yes. kwamba unaweza kemea yes. yes. system yes. na um, nadhani kitu cha muhimu zaidi leo ambacho kinafanyika ni kwamba tuko na kongomano kuu la kitaifa ambalo linazungumzia mambo la usani, ya usanii usanii kwa jumla iwe ni muziki iwe ni filamu iwe ni mambo hii ya digital media creative economy in general na tunafurahia kwamba waziri mpya wetu wa uh, michezo na sekta hii ya us, uh, usanii na ambaye pia ndiye anasimamia ma youth amepata nafasi ya ku, uh, ku, kuweka ili kongomano ili tujadiliane uh, mwelekeo wa kwenda mbele kuhusiana na mambo ya muziki ya usanii changu ni kusema kwamba tunashukuru rais kwamba aliteua ama aliweka ministry that as a department specifically dealing with the creative arts the future lies in the creative arts if you look at the world today america would not be america without the hollywood Bo bollywood in nigeria defines the culture of the indian society the same with uh, nigeria here the niger movies nollywood define the culture of nigerians waziri uh, alluded to it himself and they have used it for soft diplomacy to sh uh, to promote their culture to the extent that here we watch Niger movies there and night because they are focused on that sector the government are focused on uh, the whole in the nollywood uh, industry and uh, there are so many nigerian uh, uh, movies that are being watched here and that's what we want for kenya we cannot be consuming foreign content if the government is really serious with sorting out the issues of our artists there must be a policy that demands that 60 to 70% in fact right now it should be 75 to 80 yes. of local content yes. must be played on our radio on our tv in public places that, that that policy must be enforced that's why i was saying the challenge is not for the lack of law it is the enforcement that's number one number two i think we have so many stories that we have uh, shared many issues that we have spoken about for years i joined mcsk recently and i came here very focused to ensure that we put money in the pocket of musicians hii mambo ingine yote ni kasumba na mbwembu ambazo zina maana tuonge tuchore tufanye task force tulale tuamuke this is useless talk unless musicians have money i have given the minister the calculations broadcasters owe us 320 million bars and pubs and restaurants owe us about 2 billion the matatu industry has not paid since 2019 what what do you need a task force for what do you need a task force for just collect the money and pay musicians yes. now we are focusing on the peanuts that they are saying we collect and we don't pay and let me ask you a question these uh, cmos that have been uh, accused of all these issues are not new mcsk is 40 years i joined here about 6 months ago and so the problem cannot be the leadership. I'm here now. If the, if the problem was the leadership, give me the benefit of the doubt. Yes. I've never failed. I was the Secretary General of Kenya Union of Journalists. I never failed. I was the Director of Information. I never failed. Yes. I was the uh, CEO of Kenya Film Classification Board. I never failed. Yes. So tuache kulaumiana, tuache kasumba ya kuoneana, kurushiana maneno. Let's focus on collection and distribution. Yes. Because the musicians who are suffering are Kenyans as well. Yes. And we are treating, we are giving them lip service by, you know, trying to pretend that we care about them. You don't care if you are not helping us with enforcement. Yes. You don't care. Yes. It's pretense and it should be called for what it is. Yes. If you really care, let us collect money tomorrow yes. and distribute. Yes. But if we are going to have side shows, maneno, kasumba, kizungu mingi, maneno mingi, yes. it's useless when musicians are dying in the hospital. Yes. I have a musician in Meru, a gospel artist, who went bananas. He just lost it because of depression. I have another one in Kenyatta National Hospital. And when you raise these issues, people want to do meetings, to do another meeting, plan a conference so that they can plan another conference. Useless talk. Ah, that's a committee, so. Useless talk. Yeah. Yeah. And let me tell you, I'm not in government right now. I've taken the position of an activist <laughs> so that I can defend musicians because they have been taken round in circles yeah. to benefit cartels. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, the cartels who run Liberty Africa, the cartels who run these uh, si collection systems, the cartels who, mpake, who collected money and disappeared with it. Yes. And nobody's calling them out because they're relatives yes. of so and so. They belong to the same tribe with so and so. Yes. We must now know that we have a president in this country 
called Dr. William Samoy Ruto, who became a president against the system, the deep state, intimidation, and the threat. Yes. So I'm not to see a woga. Atuta wana muziki wata uziwa woga, wana muziki wata kula maneno, wana muziki wata kula pesa, pesa yao yokuote. So this is what we want to say. All of us have issues, and we can blame each other until cows come home. But let us focus on collection and distribution. Let us focus on enforcement. What CMOs need is a license. The work of the government is to regulate, is not to collect. Let the government regulate. Let the government set policies. Let the government enforce the law. Give us police. Let us collect money and distribute. Yes. I am really disappointed that rather than go directly to the point and collect money and distribute, we are doing conferences and setting uh, task forces. And I can tell you for sure, until we stop the blame game, until we become genuine with, us, with ourselves, and me, I came to this uh, town for further studies. I fear no one. I will speak the truth. Wakitaka wanifunge. Rais Ruto ametufunza kwamba unaweza kemea system na ukakataa kuindimitiwa. And you can, even if you stand alone and you are hated, you are called a thief, you are called named, you can still rise and stand by the truth and win. We are going to win this war because we know the truth where it is. Those people believe that they hold, they can hold the state capture and they intimidate musicians or CMOs. You are trying the wrong, you are holding the wrong end of the stick. We are here to fight for musicians and until our musicians are paid their dues, this war is not stopping anytime soon. So my message to you is that if you are playing copyrighted music, pay for it. Kama unatumia muziki, na wana muziki wacha kutumiwa, kama vikaragozi, ati mtu wanakuja na imba na tupo uko, wana muziki waishimiwe, hii biyashara ya wana muziki yeshimike, na hiwe kama kiini cha kuleta pesa na kuajiri vijana wetu, ambao wako na talanda ya hali ya juu sana. We are better than Nigeria, we are better than South Africa, we are better than many countries of the world. We are talented, we are creative. But the government is giving us lip service. That I can say. I've been in government for so long. And I've gone to school well and for a long time. I'm over 50 years, I'm not a child. So I cannot allow this kind of nonsense. We are going to call the 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 the, the spoon yes. not just a you know the spade, spade. yeah a spade will be called a spade not a big spoon a spade, a spade will be called a spade yes. not a big spoon yes. the spade in this process here is the government itself yes. they are covering the cartels in kekobo yes. they are covering the cartels who have given a system that is not working yes. they are covering the cartels who are protecting an organization called Mpake that collected money and disappeared with it, and we are going to call their bluff. What upeleke mali wanataka? Simini kwapa? How can they come to ato wakue na mbunduki yapa? Risasi. Askari ndi wanazunguka hapa. Si wakujo wanishike bazi tuoni. Raisi Ruto ametufunza kwamba you can go against the cartels and the system and the deep state. Naguna kitu itafanyika. Wakuende kabisa. It is true, but we must also be a, a country that has some sense of decency. We cannot, truly speaking, introduce clubs and bars in residential areas. And if we must then, they cannot play loud music. I, I feel for those who might lose their jobs, but we must be creative enough to ensure that we follow the law and that we make biashara, we do business without breaking uh, the law or inconveniencing others. And uh, for that, I stand with Governor Sakaja. I think there was disorder. And a lot of Kenyans, uh, a lot of, particularly in Nairobi, in the slums areas, watoto wa walali. Na atuwezi kuza watoto wetu katika mazingira ya uovu in the name of business. We cannot trade our moral values at the outer of business. I think that cannot be accepted. So I stand with Sakaja. Nevertheless, for the government to take any move, there must be an alternative. There must be a way out. So that those DJs who play in those clubs, the musicians, will have an alternative. And my appeal will be, let's work together with all the other stakeholders to ensure that they are not thrown into the gutter, that there is a, there is a fallback position for those people affected.
Asante ni ya.